Hey you guys, it's Vina Cronel with Bionic Buzz. We're here on the red carpet for The Great Alaskan Race. Now I'm so excited about this movie because it's based on the extraordinary true story of Togo and Balto. This red carpet is complete with celebrities and more importantly, puppies. Let's do this. Bionic Buzz. Bionic Buzz. I like it. I like it. You can't, you can't do that. You can't advertise that. Bionic buzz! Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, well, I'm doing it. You guys have to sit up here yourself. I got a bionic buzz. <laughs> Not really. I'm sorry. I love it. Okay. I haven't the... had any drinks or anything. Really? No, this is Not crazy. yet. Okay, good. Hey. <laughs> so, what's happening? There's a movie called The Great Alaskan Race. Are you familiar? <laughs> yes, I saw it. Someone that's like looks just like him in it. Really? A <laughs> guy, yeah, looks exactly like. Looks a whole lot. Like and did him. you like it? I saw a guy that looked like me in it, so that's why we came tonight to yeah. see if it was really us. Yeah. So you don't know if you liked it or not yet. Oh, we love it. I think. Do you? I think it's. A, I love I'm, it. I think it's a really good movie. It, it makes I gotta me say, cry too. It, it's moving. Yeah. And I catch myself. And it's a getting true choked story. Up. And, it's a true story. Are you so what, originally, I'm it's it's a, it is a true story. a true story. And a beautiful story that I don't think the entirety has, to, has totally been told until now. Yeah. What originally drew you to this movie? Well, I think yeah. Um, you know, when Brian sent the script to me, that was kind of the start, and we just, it just, I was so moved by it, and, and you know, Brian's take on it, and coming up with the emphasis on, uh, you know, Seppala as opposed to Gunner, which is my character, you know, Togo the dog, as opposed to Balto, which everyone knows Balto, just really the truth behind those two, you know, doing over 300 miles themselves more than anyone else, and my character Gunner and Balto got all the credit because we were the last leg, but let's not forget, you know, Seppala and Togo who went over 300 miles. Through the, uh, it's hard to believe that those guys could do that. 300 miles by yourself, yeah, it's mm -hmm. insane. 80 below, mm -hmm. over rocks and rivers and tundra, the frozen tundra of Alaska. I mean, Whoa. that means that you had to endure those conditions. How did you survive that? Oh, we didn't have to do that kind of conditions. <laughs> and we had nice warm clothing. We had much better clothing than they had in those days. We had warm boots, and it had worked wet. And, and besides, I love the snow. I love being when it's 10 degrees, 5 degrees. You just put on the right clothes. And you got to wear a hat to keep your head warm. Keep yeah. your head warm, the rest of your body will stay warm. Yeah. Sorry. Compared to what the real people did, yeah, we we were remarkably warm. I almost feel embarrassed yeah. to. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think of that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys seen the film yet? No, um, but tonight I will. Oh, no, yeah. What are you most excited about? Daddy. But oh, daddy, and you guys are voices and in it. And the dogs. So the I get. I was in a voice. You really? Were a voice in it. Yeah. yeah. What was that like to do that? Fun. Yeah. Cool. It was really cool. Do you tell everyone at school yet? No. I haven't talked about it yet. Not yet. What's going to happen, right? Yep. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Hey, that's pretty cool. What did you do last night? I was in a movie premiere. Okay. Um, what's, what's a part of the movie that you think that we might, as an audience, may not pick up on that you think is so important to the storyline? Well, personally and selfishly, one of the most important moments to me is a split second when my real daughter is with me in church at Christmas time in this candlelit scene, and when she's playing my daughter in the movie, and, and my daughter, Dick, you know, got to be in the movie with me. I can't talk because I'm ch I'm choking up. I'm gonna tear up. No, no, just having that moment with my child, and you know, seeing it just for a second, it was very rewarding, quite rewarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dads like daughters. I got two of them. I love them. wife and all that stuff. I love you reminding me of that because that was a real special day for you. I could see you, the, the effect of her being on set and just you working with her. And it was, it was special for me just seeing how special it was for you. It was. Yeah. And then she, we went on snowmobile ro bill rides together and just did all sorts of fun daddy daughter stuff while we were shooting the movie. So I had some nice vacation while we made this movie as well. You know, having those kind of experiences with new friends and then your own family while you're working, you better be grateful for it. That's what I try to tell people. Hey, if, you, if you're not having fun here and not grateful for this job, go try something else. Well said. <laughs> I love that. Congratulations, yeah. both of you. We're very excited to see this, and yeah. we'll see you inside. Thank, Thank you. you Wait, I actually think I did get to tell well, my friends. Today. You did? Today. Well, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be great. I believe it. I believe it. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. And feeders on October on 25th. Hit the phones up button and subscribe and ring the bell. Yeah.